What's up guys, welcome back again. It's time to root your one plus five and you're going to see all this thing here from scratch. And uh, so this thing is going to work on all the devices, but uh, you need to check out in different files, you know, but uh, the basic steps are always same. So uh, before you go and root your device, uh, for example, you have one plus five. So make sure to take complete backup. This is always recommended because if you're going to do it first time, this thing is going to erase your complete data. So unlocking your device is erase all the data. So take at least hard backup whatever is the preferred ways just you guys have to take complete backup all right and you will be needing a computer for this thing here because this thing is going to work with the adb and fast boot commands so for all the description details the link check the video description uh, there is a complete post written by me that will have all the links your know, necessary guide of the xta forum also using that you can easily configure your computer and all the links will be there to download all the separate files so uh, don't worry it, it is easy to do that so as i have uh, everything i have taken the backup here so you need to first go inside your setting here and go to the about section and you can see the build number here you need to just click here six to seven times here once you see you are now a developer you guys have to go back then you will see there's a new option called developer option so make sure this is enabled then you have to do a couple of things here First off, uh, OEM unlocking, you guys have to make it uh, turn on. So enter your password, pin pattern, whatever it is asking for, allow OEM unlocking. And preferably in case your device supports uh, advanced reboot. So enable those things too and USB debugging also. This thing is very important. Now I'm assuming you have configured your setup before to that, uh, ATB fastboot setup. So these things are after that, first you need to set up minimal adb password or in case you have android sdk stall like android studio everything is good to go so connect your phone uh, with the usb type c cable and make sure everything is configured so guys as you can see this is my uh, command prompt here so you need to first type the command adb devices so as you can see once you type the adb devices it's going to ask this thing here so you have to check it here always uh, allow from this computer so that's more important once it is done, now again you have to just uh, type ADB devices and verify. So now it is showing you as a device connected. Now the next step is to go to the bootloader and you need to uh, you know, execute a fastboot command to OEM unlock there. So there are two ways either you can use ADB reboot bootloader command or you can just use here this one here using the hardware key. So I'm going to use the command here. So you just have to type here ADB reboot bootloader this one here is a command once you hit enter your device should go directly to the bootloader mode so once you are inside this uh, bootloader you have to execute a command called uh, first just make sure to verify like fastboot devices which is connected here or not so it shows the fastboot connected then you have to execute a command fastboot oem unlock right hit enter so you can see on the screen is showing you as a unlock bootloader so it's going to give you guys some couple of warnings here so you guys have to use this uh, volume button and once you see here on the yes so and also guys this is the drawback of the oneplus 5 full screen temporary glass is going to cover a part of it here you can see so just hit uh, enter button from here so it's going to erase all of your data from now so it is showing you guys as a wiping please wait so once you have successfully uh, done this uh, fastboot OEM unlock, so your device will reboot and you're going to get this welcome screen. So this is initially like the, you got the fresh phone. So I'm just quickly go ahead and just set up my device back then we will see. So I've done the complete, you know, setting my device back. So the next step here guys is to download the files. So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how to use and install the Magisk Manager because there are two ways either you can use Magisk Manager or SuperSU. But uh, I will recommend to use Magisk Manager because you have the benefit of the safety net bypass tech. You can play, you know, use Snapchat and do Android Pay also. So Super SU is fine, but uh, you know, the latest one is the Magisk Manager. So I'm going to show you guys in that way in case you wanted to see with the Super SU method. So check the old videos in which I have shown you how to root your 3 and 3T uh, with the uh, Super SU method. So this is the file you're going to need. So uh, you need to install this APK since uh, you know this is violating the Google Play Store policy. So that APK has been removed from the Play Store. So you guys have to download uh, with this one here uh, by the APK file. And this one is a zip file that we will install after installing the twerp. And uh, you're gonna have to download uh, this thing as a twerp cheeseburger hyphen 58. So that one is the latest that is working uh, for 
and one plus five so this is not official but still developers has quoted them so as of now you can use those things and in future if something new comes up i'll show you guys how you can upgrade your drop all right so now i uh, watch it carefully here so again you guys have to go inside this setting that is more important since this is fresh device you need to again I click on this build number seven times to unlock as a developer and uh, here's seven so you guys have to uh, confirm here like advanced reboot in gives you one plus devices so we have unlocked you can see if it is grayed out that means uh, it is already turned on and make sure to turn on this usb debugging so once you do here so uh, it will ask you for allow usb debugging so do it uh, as it's here now again uh, we are going to uh, go back to the recovery and we will see how to install twerp there so just before I verify, like this is your file, a twerp cheeseburger, some files are there. So just do a command here, ADP devices, that should make sure the device is perfectly connected. Now uh, the next command you're going to use is the same ADB reboot bootloader to go inside this bootloader. So the command is ADB reboot bootloader. So do not uh, take hyphen L this thing here. So this one is ADB reboot bootloader. So once you're inside this ADB uh, this uh, bootloader command, you have to execute the fastboot command. Now type here again fastboot devices just to make sure fastboot command is working not because you know, sometimes it happens we just used to execute commands but my device connections were not successful at all so if it shows like fastboot that means it's done now you have to uh, you know a flash recovery file the command will be fastboot flash recovery then the same twerp file in the twerp hyphen the cheeseburger 58 img so once uh, it is done just hit enter and you're good to go you should be able to install it now after that you can use your power button and volume ease to go inside this twerp window so you have to enter your passcode if it's asked for that because we have set it earlier so click on the stall button and browse the directory where you have copied your magis manager so this is the magis v12 13 is compatible with o but as i know i don't install it that's in beta now swipe here to confirm flash it should take a while to stall then after that uh, do not forget to uh, clean this wipe and delve in cache that is more important once it is done just simply click on the reboot device and we are going to see here's the reboot button just reboot the device normally so once we got the device was rebooted you have to just install this uh, apk file here so make sure to turn on this uh, installation from the unknown sources you can uh, get that here from security and fingerprint and you have to turn on this one here and just go ahead and use your file manager uh, where you have downloaded here so this is your file roots and you have to install this apk so click here to install the magis manager disinstall click on this done so I'm going to verify this uh, whether we have successfully rooted or not with the root checker pro so I'm also don't know I first have done uh, this for the one plus five so open the here and let's go ahead and see whether we are uh, it is not rooted so it looks like the magis is not installed properly so you guys have to open this magis manager so you're going to get this error so this can be fixed by some kind of uh, uh, normal thing here so you have to enable this and uh, matches hide systemless host and once it is to uh, grant so this thing you have to do now I click here and uh, download. so as you can see so you have to first uh, you know go inside this matches manager and you guys have to uh, go inside this setting and make sure you should give this uh, in your busy box my just high systemless host once you do that you can easily uh, see your device is rooted now let's see whether we are successfully able to bypass this cts safety check in case it didn't work you have to just reboot one or two times that should fix i will just try to show you guys in case it's not working i'm just going to reboot here once more so device is rebooted let's quickly go ahead and try the magis manager see so these things i felt that uh, you guys have to reboot two or three times that's what is happening in my 3 and 3d so if it doesn't work go inside the setting and uh, magis core reboot apply the setting you have to reboot to do all the thing so going to try again magis manager and see whether is everything is fine or not So as you can see, uh, you just have to go inside the setting here and try to enable this magic score only module. Then just a reboot isn't it and you are good to go. Safety net bypass check. 
so I'm just quickly going to show you guys here root jacket pro and this is where you can see so guys there we have it this is your one plus five it's completely rooted installed with the magic now you're good to go you can install android pay safety net bypass check everything else so check the description and there are some steps command whatever we have done and executed here you can read all things here and also uh, do read the xda forum before you're going to do that and make sure to take all those backup so guys there we have it thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video and find this helpful i'll talk to you guys in the next video have a great day